Tucson, Arizona might be known for its southwest food, cactus, and great weather in the wintertime, but slowly but surely it's becoming a hotbed for new underground artists. I got a chance to sit down with one of the fastest rising rock rap bands in the U.S., Lethal Injection. All right, so you can follow these guys on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lethal Injection Music. They got the EP that... <laughs> I'm the rascal, rapper of uh, Lethal Injection. What I bring to the table is a raw voice, raw lyrics, and a lot of visions, man. You know, I create a lot of the visions for the band, and uh, happy to be doing what I, what I love and what I'm passionate about. I came up with the name in 2003, and it took me many years for it to actually come together. I, I pursued my solo career, and you know, I, I feel that I had peaked and I needed to venture out and do what I really wanted to do. I'm Jonathan Russell. I'm the lead vocalist of Lethal Injection. Uh, Lethal Injection started about 11 months ago and it started with a hip hop artist named Rascal had contacted me and he wanted to do a track together with the group that I sang for called Stands With Fists. And I explained to him that He'd have to come to a lot of band practices, and it would be, you know, a long process getting the writing going. So I proposed that we would go to our producer, Matt Good, vocalist of From First to Last. I was like, we can go to him, and we can go and knock out a song in a day, and we can collaborate. And the collaboration uh, was set, and we went to do it. And at the end of the process, we'd realized that we'd done something really fun. And uh, Rascal was like, you know this sounds really good i i want to make this a cd i want to do i want to do the whole thing let's do a full length the magic was there i mean there was no denying it we started the song from scratch we started the lyrics from scratch and we recorded an amazing song that we knew would not be a single but we wanted to vibe with each other and we knew at that point that we had something special we had a sound that nobody else has created yet and i was like you know what you're right we're on to something good. And uh, so we created an awesome song. And then it was like, well, we can't just go play live with just ourselves. We need a band. So I started talking to different musicians um, that were are popular in our local scene. And we formed what I would call a super group of talented musicians to back Rascal and Jonathan Russell's project. And luckily, we found uh, great people. and. Uh, good team members that made it all come together and we're going at a rapid speed and it's very uh, thrilling as i walk into the future Jesse Espich, play guitar. I come from a, kind of a different background from everyone, which is kind of what makes it a cool band. Everyone kind of comes from a different background, but um, I mean, it's definitely uh, definitely heavier, you know? I, you can't really get away from the heaviness with me being in the band, so definitely, uh, definitely get, get, is a good combination. Uh, Lawrence McIntyre, play guitar. Um, I feel that I bring a lot of responsibility to the band, kind of the one that keeps everything, like all the cables together, make sure we're not losing stuff throughout travel and whatnot. Tell me your nickname. Is what? I'm, I, uh, most of the members the refer to me as the gem, just because I'm You're shiny. The problem solver. The problem solver. <laughs> For me, it's really the fans that have been there all along, my family and whatnot. It's, it's really awesome for me to be able to say to everyone that has watched me grow through music and whatnot like I'm doing this and this is like my thing and so having my parents at shows or my wife like it's just really great like seeing them and like everyone it's awesome to have everyone else around but it's more 
it, it means more to me to be able to see the people I love. Just the word fan is kind of almost makes me uncomfortable, you know what I mean? Because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really weird, you know, having, having people, it, you, you know, I try to stay really humble and, and uh, it, it's, it, it's still weird for me that someone would even call themselves a fan of me. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's just crazy. My name is Luis Rodriguez, I play bass. Yeah, so um, fan interaction, you know, I was really surprised um, how fast things picked up when we went, when we played fall ball recently. There was a bunch of little kids out there you know, wearing our merch and, you know, in line for autographs. And I almost didn't, I didn't really even know how, how, how big of a fan base we had locally, honestly. It was really a big surprise. Uh, some of the best experiences with Lethal Injection were like our first couple shows where we just came out, we put out the buzz that this new project's coming to being and having like 600 plus uh, pre-sold tickets. That was a big, uh, wow, we've done something good. And then having all those people show up and buy merch and do the autograph thing. I, I, I mean, the view, yeah, the views were amazing. I mean, you know, for, for a brand new album slash brand new project, and we're excited about what our future holds. I'm James Ringstrom and I play drums in Lethal Injection. So I got in Lethal Injection um, just through kind of networking. Um, I played in and around a lot of the guys in other bands like Jesse. Um, in previous bands I've done shows with him and same with Jonathan. And I was really honored and lucky enough that they considered me when they uh, had to replace their drummer. So they gave me a call. I came in and you know had a little audition and you know gelled really well with the guys. I already knew half of them, Jesse, John, um, you know, Luis, who's a bass player now, so yeah, I just came in and started making shit happen. I believe that the viewers and the listeners really took to it, and you know, like I said, we're, we're trying to create that magic. We're trying to create an undeniable sound, yet undeniable visual, and we all shot it up in Phoenix, Arizona with Marmara Films. I Rock Daniels, amazing producer, and couldn't be happier than, you know, what, what we've received from the public as far as views, comments, likes, and everything we're doing with the videos. I, I think they're all great, all three of them. It's a world, we can take them all on. Back to back, it's just me and my girl when we spend the time. It's an endless rhyme, fit together like words in the endless line. If I get it, then I get it with you. And if you're with it, then you're getting it too. I can start a new chapter with you. We can write a whole book, no time to lose. Fucking shit up in 2017. Lethal injection, raw, raw, and uncut. Lethal injections coming to your ear holes. Lethal injections coming. Like everyone else said. <laughs> you check us out on all social media outlets. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. I mean, add us on everything. It's lethal injection, baby. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to do the right thing With them bumps on your heels smelling like that night train Yeah, I feel like burning rice, man Jetting on your buses like I'm on that first flight, man When I look around, all I see is wannabes Wanna be me, you better stop if you wanna breathe All these suckers trying to get it, but they want it free Hulk smashing on your bitches cause my paper's turning green Yeah, and these fools trying to grab Where my mental's at, I'll leave them leaking in the past Yeah, it's just a simple fact If you keep lying, crossing, it's enough to make me snap you're under the pressure I can feel it closing in You're under the pressure From my Jameson bottle, I'm on tour in Colorado Getting the paper is the motto, but no matter how far I travel Drama always wanna follow, I don't wanna lose my head I am not asleep